Hey Dojo friends, I'm doing an unboxing today and while I'm at it, people ask this question a lot. What type of sword should I get for my training? Should I get a wooden sword, a non-sharp sword, a sharp sword, an Iaito? Should I get steel? What type of steel? Should I get aluminum alloy? There are no set answers to that. It depends on what you want your sword for. I always recommend people have a good Boken, a wooden sword around, or a couple if you have a friend over to practice. If you're into Yaido, which is like sword drawing and stuff, you're going to need a non-sharp called an Iaito. That's a sword that looks real, but it's not sharp, which is the one I'm opening today. This one here is from Handmade Swords, and this is, I think, an Iaito. Now, there are two types of these swords. You have aluminum alloy which is kind of a bendable metal, and then you have a steel sword. This one is aluminum alloy. Why would you have one over the other? Aluminum alloy is very light, good for drawing your sword, putting it back. It is not good for clashing of any kind. So if you're gonna do like a Kenjutsu, you want a hard steel sword like this that can take some beating. This is a steel sword, not sharp, but it's hand forged, but there's no edge on it. So you're not going to cut yourself except with the tip, but you can clash these together, which as you know, was real sword battling. Swords always clashed. I have hundreds of swords and I've been to museums in Japan where the swords are completely wrecked from smashing swords together. So this is an Iaito. It's a non-sharp aluminum alloy sword good for Iaido and drawing and things like that. It's extremely quick. You can hear that sound from the bohi here. This is just a simple one. It has kind of a bamboo suba on it and through handmade swords you can get a lot of different types of guards. Not a lot of customization. The Ito supposedly is cotton. Kashira kind of has a bamboo theme with a the moon. I'll put a couple pictures up of close-ups. This aluminum alloy sword has kind of a fake hum on there. It's obviously not forged, but it's probably put on afterwards. This is a nice sword for Yaido drawing, practicing solo. And if you're working with a friend, this would be a non-contact sword, a very light contact. If I just take this, I can bend this in half very easily because it's just the nature of the metallurgy. This one, which is steel, you're gonna have a hard time bending or breaking. And the price difference isn't much difference. This one is about, I'm selling this here for about $220. And this has a blue wrap and a blue theme to it. And this one I just bought from Handmade Swords. This was still $200, retails for $250. So you can see the price is about the same, but it's what you want to do with the sword. Do you just want to practice drawing and putting it back in your scabbard like Noto? Are you just like going to events like as a character or LARPing or something or dressing up, this would make a, a good prop. But if you're gonna fight and you're gonna practice Kenjutsu, I don't recommend aluminum alloy. I have several swords there that are just wrecked on the wall, but that doesn't mean one is better than the other. It's what do you wanna do with it? A wooden sword, you get what you pay for. If you buy a cheap oak or something, it could break. And I've had swords splinter and break during practice and hit me and cut me open. If you want a quality boken, go on the internet and type in quality or handmade boken and see what's available in your area. This aluminum alloy sword I bought, you know, picked up in Japan when I was there. And this is from Japan, but it's super high quality. This is, uh, I'd sell this for 250 but I paid 300 something in Japan and you're paying for the craftsmanship. So as you can see, the super guard on that is very intricate. The fittings are much tighter. You have this battle wrap here. The black Samegawa Kashira and everything is a much higher quality kind of silver. The blade itself, I can tell, is a higher quality aluminum alloy. The Hamon is way better quality than the one from Handmade here. Saya is better. Leather Saya. Look at the fittings on the end of that. Do you see that? That's unusual in itself. If you order a sword from Japan, an aluminum alloy sword, such as this, an Iaito, you can easily pay $500, $1,000, for one of these. But a company like Handmade Sword, which I don't get paid to talk about, it's a you know decent quality sword, 
good for practice for about $200. So which one would I pick? I don't know. If I was going into battle, of course I'd take the steel, much heavier, much slower. This one's longer. If I'm doing a demonstration or something and I need speed or I'm not going to clash swords, I might use this aluminum alloy Yaito. Price point is around the same. Of course, if you get different fittings, it'll cost a lot more. So I'll put the link below if you want to buy one of these from Handmade Sword. Go on the website. There's a ton of options you can get for at least the Subaguard. Other than that, the swords are a bit overpriced, but hey, you can get them quick because they're here in the U.S., so if you live in the U.S., you'll get it within four or five days. Who knows with the war going on now and all of the shipping, how much it would take to get from China or Europe or something like that, so sometimes you're paying a bit more for convenience and speed and shipping. So there's a quick unboxing of this aluminum, what they call the bamboo sword here, aluminum alloy Iaito. I hope you enjoyed watching, a lot more videos to come, but every time I unbox something, I have another sword right there that just came from China. I'll make sure that I include you guys in the unboxing because I know sword geeks like myself like to look at this stuff. Have a great day or night wherever you guys live and good training to you. Bye-bye.